All right, let's talk about the density, the concept of density. Um, chemistry is the study of matter and the changes it undergoes. And all matter, matter is defined as anything that has a mass and occupies space. Well, density is the property, it's a physical property of a substance, which sort of takes into account the mass and the space occupied of the substance. Density, which is often abbreviated, um, symbolized a capital D, is defined as the mass divided by the volume of the substance. You can use any unit for the mass, you can use any unit for the volume, and therefore density has two units. It has a, uh, a unit of mass divided by a unit of volume. We see a lot of things in, in our everyday lives that have two units. For example, when you get into your car and you drive down the street, um, you look at your speedometer, and that is in a meter, um, miles per hour. There are two units on the speed of your vehicle. There are two units on the density of a substance. Um, these are characteristics of common substances, and so we find tables of these values in our textbook, as well as we can Google tables and tables of values. They are measured quantities. Um, somebody has to do an experiment to figure out the density of something, and so what we often find is different tables might have slightly different values for density, but don't get too worried about that. Um, if you're working a homework problem from your textbook, you want to use the density values from your textbook. Um, if, if they have them, that's what's going to get you the right answer more, more than likely on your homework. Uh, but you can find lots and lots of tables for density values. It is the mass per unit volume. A common unit of density that we use for solid substances is a gram per cubic centimeter. Notice I write it with the slash. That, that When I say this, I say per. Uh, it means divided by. Um, you may recall that one cubic centimeter is exactly the same thing as one milliliter. And so a gram per cubic centimeter is exactly the same thing as a gram per milliliter. Again, this is a common unit that we see. It is the mass in grams divided by the volume in milliliters or cubic centimeters, which is the same thing. Um, and that numerical answer, once we divide those values, is the density of the substance. Um, calculating the density for a substance is very easy. If you know the mass and the volume, just divide. Um, it's a little bit tougher, although not that much tougher, if you're given the density and you want to find mass given the volume or volume given the mass. Um, that requires either an algebraic rearrangement of this equation or you can work it like a unit conversion problem. For example, let's say that the density of aluminum, let's say we have aluminum, and you look up in the table and the density of aluminum is 2.70 grams per milliliter. It can be written as grams per milliliter, grams per cubic centimeter. That is the density of the substance. We might want to know how many grams of aluminum are in a certain volume. For example, how many grams of aluminum would be in a 10.8 milliliter sample? We want to know the mass given the density and the volume. You can think of this as simply a rearrangement, an algebraic rearrangement, and you would be absolutely fine working the problem that way, but you also can think of it as a unit conversion problem. We've spent a lot of time talking about unit conversions. This is just another one. If the density is 2.70 grams per milliliter, that means 2.70 grams equals one milliliter for aluminum. So how many grams of aluminum equal 10.8 milliliters, I can work this as a unit conversion. Times in my ratio sign, milliliters on bottom so that it cancels, grams on top so that I'll be left with grams, that's what I'm looking for. And here is the equivalence that I use for that ratio. I would put the 2.70 with the grams, so that will be on top, the one with the milliliters, and then I will punch it into my calculator. My calculator tells me that this is 29.16. That's all the digits on my calculator. I'll round it to three sig figs. You always, for the rest of your life, have to worry about significant figures. 
and my units are grams. So the answer is 29.2 grams. So I have solved this problem like a unit conversion problem where the density value is the grams that equals one milliliter. And then I would use that for my ratio either in this direction or um, upside down in order to solve for the missing value. If I'm given mass and I want to find volume, I would set it up exactly the same, but my ratio for density would be upside down. This is just another way that we can solve for density problems uh, when we're looking for the mass or the volume using uh, the technique of unit conversion that we've practiced so hard on and we will continue to use it throughout this semester.